Hi there, this is a short video tutorial to show you how to deal with the effects of LED flash on camera phone pictures. As you can see in this test photo, the general environment is dimly lit, but the background has got natural colours thanks to spotlighting. However, the subject of our photo bore the full brunt of the LED flash and looks a very unnatural blue tint. Therefore, since she's the only area of the photo we need to correct for, we need to isolate her from the rest of the image, and we do this with the path tool. Click to add points and to control the curvature of the line between the points we drag out as we add points. Just like this. You don't need to be too accurate so don't spend too long worrying about whether you've got everything right. However if you want to check you can always zoom in and you can always go back and drag all these points around as you go. To complete a path you need to click with the control key on the first point, however with this person going right to the edge of the image there's a chance we could just miss out a small slice, so I recommend adding a couple of points outside of the image just to finish off the path. Now that we've got the path we have the shape we want and we have to turn it into a selection and we do that by going to the select menu and selecting from path. We want to paste this into a new layer so we go edit copy and edit menu paste and as you'll see over here it says a floating selection now if we click down here on the new layer button it becomes a layer in its own right so we can go and switch off the visibility to the original photo and there we see we have our friend isolated now to take out the blue color we go to color menu and select color balance now in your photos you may need to use shadows and highlights but for this one the midterms will do the job. Now we need to go to the slider that says blue and slide away from blue towards yellow. Don't go too far like all the way down to the bottom like this because it will just look stupid. Just back off until it looks like it did before but just paler. Something like that. So that's better but it's not quite right. Now the thing about humans, we are walking sacks of red liquid. So we need to add some red here, just to give us some colour to the cheeks. So we do the same thing with the slider, and we slide towards red. Now, this is a, your mileage may vary sort of thing, because you'll have to rely on your own memory of the person you took a photograph of, and what they should, be, should look like. And that's what I'm doing here, and I'm at a point now where I'm happy, so I'll click OK. So that's the colour correction taken care of. However, another symptom of dim light, as well as blue LED flash tint, is a noisy image. And as you can see in the jacket around here, there's lots of noise, and we need to do something about this. My way of doing it is to use the burn tool, just to blend it in, because we don't want to get rid of it completely, because the image we're putting her back into has got some noise, so it, would look, it wouldn't look natural, it would look tampered with. So if we use the path tool again, and we, can, we don't have to be very careful, we just need to get this like fabric to skin border right. And same for the wrist. And just do some more points around here. And, and again, select menu from path. Now we've got this selection which will just limit the area that our tool will affect. So we're going to select the dodge and burn tool. And let's check our settings. So the brush, we want as big a brush as possible and boost the size more with the scale slider. Switch into burn mode. And we're still using midterms. And we'll push the exposure all the way up to 100%. Now you just paint. And paint with holding the mouse button down. Don't let go.
there you have it you can still just make out ed edges of the fabric and there's still a little bit of noise there so that sh so that's cleaned it up but it's still blending with the original image so if we just use the rectangular tool to get rid of that selection go to the layers and switch back on visibility of the original photo now let's do a before and after before and after and I'm sure you can see the results for yourself and that concludes the tutorial thanks for watching